Welcome to Momentum Monday. Today is October 10th, 2021. Howard, so what's going on? Have you uh, filled your tank lately? Have I what? Have you filled your gas tank lately? Like, how are the prices in uh, Phoenix? <laughs> I don't know. I don't do a lot of driving. I've been on the road a lot. But uh, yeah, so, so are, are prices up in San Diego? I haven't even checked. I mean, uh, yeah, they've been up for a while. I mean, it's, it's they're like $5 a gallon. And Holy even smoke. $5 yeah. a gallon? Yeah, they've been that, that way for a while, actually. Pretty, Whoa. Pretty crazy, yeah. Uh, obviously, this is California, so I, I was curious if, if it's different. No, I honestly have not filled up a car because I've either I've been on the road in Europe in Florida taking Ubers and biking. I, I honestly haven't filled up a, a car. I didn't know. Interesting. A couple months. The uh, Maybe I'll treat myself. Well, that's depressing. So that's <laughs> actually very, that's a big tax on uh, middle America. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I guess. In Europe as well. I mean, electricity there is up, I think, 20, 30%. Gas prices up, what, 300, 400%. Yeah, I was going to say DBC, like the commodity ETF, is having a run. I mean, it had been downward flat for decade. And Anything uh, energy, yeah. Energy and... DBC, uh, I think it's DBC. Okay. But yeah, DBA also agriculture doing well. So if you yeah. look at that on a on a monthly, that's been a dog for a hundred years. And uh, just just as you wrote it off in March twenty twenty, it's had a hell of a run. But then again, so is tech. So I, you know, these people that like start freaking out about oh, you know. All right, so whoever caught a good commodity run could have caught the same run in in tech stocks in March 2020. But if you got the right commodity stocks with the leverage, there's been some great plays. So, so, what is, so what does the momentum look like out there? I mean, for me, the main story last, uh, last week is that treasuries continue to go down and therefore interest rates continue to go up, <clears throat> which yeah. means uh, you know, two, two things. One is that anything, com anything commodity and financials are getting a boost. They're setting up their, I mean, if you look at the 52 week uh, high list, it's basically all oil and gas and banks. That's it. Hmm. Uh, and in the meantime, ri rising interest rates, uh, they tend to put pressure on high multiple, uh, high growth, <coughs> high momentum <laughs> stocks. Uh, and um, I mean, we haven't really seen it in a big way, but uh, I mean, if you, if you take the ARC ETF, for example, it's, it's one of the few that is negative here to date. It's mm -hmm. kind of struggling. I mean, it's below 20, 50, uh, 200 day moving average. Yeah. Uh, and even if you look at the, the IBD uh, 50, even there, they're not doing that great. So definitely there's been a, real, a little bit of pullback here with the rise in interest rates. And uh, we can also see it in individual stocks. Um, they've been leaders. I mean, obviously, they're still in an uptrend, but definitely pulling back. So uh, if inflation expectations continue to rise, you know, you can definitely make the argument that uh, high momentum tech stocks will be continue to be under pressure. Yeah. Uh, so they're not, they, they might not be the, the best place to hide. Uh, yeah. If no, if you, if you like trading commodities and cyclicals and some... Uh, Listen, there's something out there. It's, for me, it's been rather chop chop suey. Um, <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not going to learn energy stocks. And I don't care about these. You know, I'm soft for or death. Uh, it's very hard for me to you know to to change after all of these years. So I just got to you know be patient. But select tech is working, but it's thin, right? Netflix. Netflix I mean, the, my, the one that's working. For example, yeah. uh, AFRM, it's kind of financial as well, you know, buy now, pay later. Uh, yeah. short so that, as well. that trend was a hell of a trend. I mean, to, if you caught that trade after the, the Square acquisition, you know, it, it, it bumped, but then you had the real big move you could have got in in the 90s. So, yeah, it's been, it's, it looks great. Obviously, um, JP Morgan, I guess, is probably back at all-time highs. Goldman Sachs. Yeah, all the financials are 
are outperforming. All the, the brokerages had a uh, pretty bad yeah, week last week. Schwab, Interactive Brokers, all of them, uh, I guess, as they're adding crypto uh, to their offerings, are perking up. Wow. Yeah. So anything financial, obviously, rising interest rates, financial is going to do well. Uh, also, anything commodity related, as we mentioned, uh, fertilizers, anything energy related is mm. rising. And, <clears throat> and when, you, when you said that, you know, you don't want to learn how to trade commodities, I mean, there is nothing really complicated there because uh, there's nothing to analyze. They all move together in one group. So you, yeah. all you need to do is basically own the ETF uh, or leverage ETF, and then you have exposure or just trade it <laughs> if you don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. No, if you're, I'm just not following the markets close enough, but yeah, if you're, if you're, if you're a price follower, for sure, these are just, it's just a chart and you trade the price action and this is a strong sector. Absolutely. Yeah. It's interesting to see that strength in Netflix, as you mentioned it a few weeks well, as ago. I told you, I just think, again, it's not, if tech's weak, they're considered a tech stock, so it won't, it won't have the move, but you got a two or so year base. You have, like I said, this build up of creativity and, and Netflix has got money to spend. Um, the competitors just don't do a good job of, of letting you binge. Uh, they can't keep up with the amount of contact. <clears throat> Disney's obviously formidable, but it's just different company. Um, they it's just can't produce to see. content at yeah. the level. Oh my God, that discovery thing. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a content provider, right? Content creator. So it's, to me, it's interesting to see that he's been such a dog for such a long time. Obviously, it was one of the big stocks. Well, that was uh, one of the Chinese guys. Yeah, right? the Argus, uh, cap it, Argus Capital. Ma maybe the, all the big banks that were, you know. Uh, I have to say, like, considering what, the, what the, the Discovery did, it's amazing that GME and AMC, like, they really do have these hodlers. Really fascinating. I think they're, they're slowly starting to uh, oh, they you know, break down. That's incredible. This business is a turd. It's a turd. So it's GameStop. These are turd. These are unproven, speculative. I no. mean, it's, it's, it's impressive. It's, it's pretty incredible, yeah, and considering the, the volume that they're trading, it's definitely. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> There's just so much money in the system. The people that own that stock, they don't need it. So they're just keeping it there. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I'm just fascinated by looking at that compared to typical pump and dumps like Discovery or things that like these flash in the pan type of spikes like Discovery that disappear, you know, and this one just won't go away. And it really is fascinating because AMC is a turd of a company. It's a turd of a product. People aren't going to rush back to the movies. Um, you know, its habits have changed around that. And the, and the product at the movie theaters is terrible. So anyways. Uh, Looks like a short here. I mean, if you have the balls. I wouldn't touch it, but yeah. <laughs> I, I can't, I wouldn't be surprised with this thing. I mean, they raised that cap. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing was back below 20 at some point very soon. But GME, really fascinating. Um, the crypto stuff, it's just a lot of noise and news, you know, Biden, they're saying may sign an executive order. So it's just a lot of noise. They've had great runs and it's very hard to trade these things. I mean, the, all of the, all the crypto related stocks are actually, uh, working up and setting up. Obviously the, the price section there depends on the price section in crypto, but they're kind of have been acting well con considering the, the rest of the market. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, it, like you said, it's financial and energy. Um, yeah, micro, I mean, geez, some of these companies, but yeah, financials and energy. Yeah, and some of the car, car makers as well, especially <clears throat> uh, EVs, uh, are kind of holding well. Uh, Tesla is the big leader, uh, consolidating near 800. They just both headquarters from uh, California to uh, Austin, I think, mm -hmm. somewhere in Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, which was the other one? Lucid kind of holding. Hmm. I mean, it needs to, I don't know, go above 25. And last week we saw Ford and GM kind of working up as they said that, you know, they're preparing for the transformation, you know, into electric. Uh, so it was interesting hmm. to see that, uh, that the, the Indian one, TPM. And then we have, well. and then, oh, wow, Tata Motors. Where's that, India? Yeah, I think they own. Uh, oh, what's the monthly look like on that? Wow. 
Yeah. I mean, nothing yeah. spectacular. Oh, pretty interesting. But Four to twenty-six. Two other things that stood out real quick, because now that I mentioned India, Chinese stock all of a sudden uh, woke up. I mean, I'm not sure what the reason is, but you know, they're. I guess they do well when the rest of the, the U.S. market doesn't do well. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, tradable. Like I, people need to just say, you know, do not own less. There's enough good American companies. And I agree with you. I mean, uh, personally, when I want to get involved with, with Chinese stocks right now, I do it intraday. But then think about it. The only way to really make big money is when you write about something that the majority of people are wrong about. And currently, the sentiment for China, no doubt, there is so okay. negative that yeah, there yeah. might be something there that but might surprise people. Really sophisticated, like people. Yeah, but you're right. There is some. Sentiment's terrible. There's a little bit of a base there. Yeah. I and as we, I know, I'd rather, I'd rather trade energy and banks at this point. Yeah. And as we're seeing this little uh, bounce in uh, in China, almost anything related to to South America, to Latin America, has been a disaster. Crushed. Yeah. Crushed like disaster. That. Right. And yeah, a couple that I own, PAGs, has been a disaster. Yeah, I, May giving up its earnings uh, gap yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned PAGs. It's a disaster. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was almost at all time high. Wow, look at this. It's, it's yeah. Anything tech related there has been really bad. I guess the. I think this is a good reminder for people like that own US tech and don't think the stocks can go down. There's been, you know what I mean? Like these tech uh, Latin American companies, granted it is Latin America, a uh, land of a thousand broken hearts if you ever invested. But you know yeah you get a few warnings and then boom you get two months of, of, of bad action and your your gains become uh, a messy losses so people just need to be alert uh but in the u.s tech scene with rates rates aren't that high so you know but at the same time you got to be careful facebook looks terrible um yeah definitely not great but you know in it depends on the viewpoint, I guess. If you look at the yeah. weekly, it's not that bad. But they're printing money and, uh, you know, 20 times earnings, you know. Yeah, the next to... earnings season starts this week, right? With yeah. financials uh, reporting and then a couple weeks later, tech. So Yeah, it'll be an interesting week. Financials are going to report nice numbers. They're going to talk the rates. They, um, <clears throat> a lot of cash in the system. So I think you nailed it. Uh, select tech if you got to have it, but there's not a great setups, and the setups are in the energy and in the in the financials. Yeah, some of the boring uh, tech stocks have been doing well. What was this one? Oracle, I guess. That you know, I don't even know what they do. For whatever reason, last week they broke out. Well, they uh, control America's. They control global databases. What? What? And Cisco probably are still doing well. Cisco had been doing well. Well, wow, Oracle, that's a hell of a breakout. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's Holy interesting to see God. that last week, uh, considering the weakness in, uh, wow. in tech. What a phenomenal company. Wow. Yeah, I have no idea why, but obviously uh, <clears throat> that's a big ass company. What's a market cap? 260 billion. Wow. All right. So there yeah, are. But what is it like four times less than uh, <laughs> Facebook? Yeah, Almost trading it. I mean, for a company that mature, trading still at like forty times, you know, thirty times earnings, pretty amazing. <clears throat> well, that's what zero interest rates give you. All right, I'm gonna hop. It's a holiday tomorrow. Everybody have a great uh, holiday, Ivan. You too, Howard. And uh, we'll, the markets will be a lot more interesting, I'm sure, over the next few weeks. But in the meantime, you know, trade what's in front of you, and. Uh, you know, there's other stuff to do when the markets aren't perfect for the setups that you like. All right. Have a great week. All right, you too. Bye.